let's first go to Terra Industries. It's a robotics and drone manufacturing startup right here in Abuja, Nigeria. I caught up with the software engineer behind it all. Take a look. In this factory on the outskirts of Abuja, an emerging industry is busy securing some of Africa's critical infrastructure. Terra Industries, co-founded by 23-year-old Maxwell Maduka and 22-year-old Nathan Nwachuku, is building autonomous security systems powered by artificial intelligence and drones. I've always been thinking, you know, what is the best way to truly help industrialize Africa? And I've always believed that it comes down to the big three, security, energy, and food production. We wanted to begin with what I think is the common denominator holding the continent back. So we began building out autonomous systems to solve the security crisis in Africa. This factory has the capacity to build 30,000 drones per year. Terra also says that it exports to eight African countries, protecting critical infrastructure from gold mines to power plants. Most of the key components are built in-house, from the airframes, the propellers, the lithium-ion battery packs are all manufactured in-house. That has helped us keep costs really, really low. It's easy for us to scale manufacturing without cutting costs. A key focus for Terra Industries has been developing and building software and hardware in-house, helping them beat off stiff international competition. You managed to lock down a pretty lucrative deal, $1.2 million, beat out an Israeli consortium. Big deal. What would you say gave your product an edge? I would say it's the end-to-end -end integration that we had. It's not every day you see a company that's building both the hardware and the software at the same time. Um, and we have companies that are acquiring hardware and then, you know, um, building out their own software in internally or um, acquiring software and building out the hardware. We're a company that we're able to say, okay, we're going to build out great hardware and it's a great, great software, everything in-house. And that was what made us stand out. Terra's software, called Artemis OS, is the brains of its system. And in the field, its flying drones watch from the sky and its sentry towers equipped with cameras and sensors watch from the ground. Both systems check for intruders or other security threats. It collects all the surveillance data from all these different systems. It analyzes this data, looking for threats in real time. And once spotted, it alerts the necessary response teams, whether it's security agencies or in-house response teams. Essentially, we want to ensure that the software ecosystem of Terra is entirely African. And that is the key to keeping that data safe. Terra Industries has only been up and running for less than a year. And it's already making waves. Terra today has actually raised only less than $600,000. And within that short span, within the 11 months we've been operating, we are currently at $1.9 million in revenue. We have $11 billion worth of assets under our protection today. For us, the key thing is in a few years' time, we eventually want to have a $1 trillion worth of assets under protection, which would essentially encompass all of the power, mining, and oil assets in Africa. Does the CNN report celebrating two young Nigerians of Igbo extraction in their early 20s who were able to ward off Israeli competition and show that Nigeria, the future of Nigeria is bright in the area of science technology and innovation. What you saw in the CNN report is their factory, you can call it men at work, showing that robotics, drones, are things that are manufactured in Nigeria here in Abuja. And if you watch these two young men, most of the components, both the software and the hardware, are manufactured here in Nigeria. They produce it by themselves. You saw them with their workers. It's, it's unprecedented. It's amazing. 
This is the new world that we face. And now we have seen that Nigerian young men are ready to take on the world. These young men deserve commendation beyond what the CNN has done by giving us an indication of what they have been up to that attracted the world's attention. It is unprecedented and it is commendable that these people, these two men, young men, was able to show that they are more efficient in what they do than an Israeli consortium that they competed for a job and they went ahead they were ahead of the Israeli consortium that is amazing that is encouraging the 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 co-founders Nathan Wachko and uh, um, his uh, uh, colleague, which we are going to look at them very uh, detail. How were they able to arrive to the position of doing what they did? Even Nathan Wachiku himself, his own is very interesting. Like Bill Gates and uh, and and. Uh, the founder of Apple, he dropped out of university. You're going to hear about, know about him a lot. Let us just take a look at who this young man, let us begin with Nathan Wachuku. Who is he? How did he get to this level? At this young age, whether you like it or not, when we are growing up, when you are, you are 22 years old, you are still in the university and uh, you still live with your parents and all that, unless those who are in business inclined, who have gone on to learn trade and move on with their trading business. But these people achieved success so early in a very technical field that only few can venture, both in Nigeria and Africa. And they want to dominate. You have from them. these young men want to dominate the security sector with technology and innovation. Okay, uh, Nathan Wachuku is uh, 22 years old. He's a software engineer, industrialist, and entrepreneur. Uh, he, both of them, with his, his co founder, they are based in Abuja, Nigeria, where they specialize in manufacturing drones and autonomous security systems and hardware solutions for industries like energy, mining, agriculture, and security. And right now, they produce the largest, the largest uh, drone manufacturing, they are the largest drone manufacturing company in Africa right now. They produce 7,000 drones a year that is enormous and it has also secured over two million dollars contract to secure nigeria hydroelectric power plants and they are very ambitious now this is about their company now Nathan Wachku attended graceland International School Port Harcourt before he after studying at Port Harcourt uh, Graceland School in Port Harcourt he went on to Carlton University in Canada but while he was in Canada like Bill Gates and Steve Jobs entrepreneurial urge was too much for him he has to drop out of school and began entrepreneurship and he began to teach himself, just like Bill Gates and uh, Steve Jobs taught themselves. And look at where he is today. 
that is Nathan Rajko. Maxwell Madoka. Maxwell Madoka is 23 years old. The guy is said to be a wizard when it comes to a software engineering. He is the chief technical officer of the company. He was trained first at Yaba College of Technology in Lagos and then Pennsylvania University where he specialized in aerial robotics. You know, why this is important is not just about their voyage to foreign universities to improve themselves. It is that the foundation, the foundation of what they are today was laid in Nigerian educational system. Both of them studied here in Nigeria before they went abroad. What does that tell us? It is the need for human capacity development, the need to equip our universities, the need to equip our primary schools and secondary schools so that we can keep on producing more Maxwell Madoka and his co-founder so that this country does not have to depend on foreigners to be able to solve our problems. Both Madoka and Wachuku have shown that the future of Nigeria is bright. And that's why when you listen to people like Peter Obi, he's always emphasizing on human capital development, human index. What is Nigeria's human index development? What is, what is our ranking? A human capacity development index. What is our ranking? We are ranking very low. Oftentimes we mistake building bridges and flyovers as the key achievement in a government. But Peter B keep telling us that it's about the human being. When you can develop human beings, you can take over the whole world. And human being, we have been told, is the most important of all the resources you can get. There are many nations around the world, they don't have oil, they don't have gold, they don't have diamonds. But the human capacity they have in science, mathematics, innovation, have moved those nations from third world to first world. We can do it in this country. That is the perspective we should be looking at what these two young men have done, what they are doing from the outskirts of Abuja, taking over the whole world, taking over Africa, manufacturing the largest quantity of drones, in our continent and iron the world market. That is the future. Indeed, a new Nigeria is possible where you have this kind of information and you see CNN acknowledging it, hailing it as a new direction for Africa. I don't know what to think about these two young men in their early 20s who have shocked the world with their capacity to outbid uh, Israeli consortium and was given the contract for the protection of vital infrastructure using technology, drones and robotics. Whatever is your position, let's hear from you at the comment section. Thank you for watching this video and if you are new to my channel and you have not yet subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to my channel, hit the subscription button, hit the notification bell. When you subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell, anytime we have a new video, you'll be among the first to know. God bless you.
And please don't forget to like this video because when you like it, go go rank it high and recommend it for more people. Thank you and God bless you and yours.